Welcome to another Mr. Squeaks Tea video. Hey tea people, it's Kim here. I'm back finally. Sorry I haven't been on for a while. I've been super busy trying to get things sorted for the tea company, um, trying to get things sorted for our new venture that we're looking at, um, trying to keep the kids in tow because they've been on it like you wouldn't believe. Um, so I'm back, I'm doing a video today, um, just a quick one, it might not be a quick one, who knows, um, but I'm going to go through some of the orders that we've got, um, some of them we've already done today, um, so there's only a couple that I've got to do, um, but we'll have a chat and we'll go through them whilst we're, whilst you're watching. So I've already pulled out this one, this is a 15T sample pack and this particular person had asked for some quirky samples. Um, the reason being is they're actually potentially looking at maybe stocking us in their tea room, which is great news. Um, we haven't actually got a wholesale deal set up yet with um, at all. Um, mainly because we wanted to try and keep Mr. Squeaks quite personal and not, you not be able to purchase it everywhere. Um, we want to keep it quite special. So we will have these chats with these in, these individual businesses that are looking to stock us um, and we will choose ones that we feel that would really benefit from having Mr. Squeaks and would really show us off in the best, best light and the best profile. So for this particular sample pack, They've asked for quirky, um, so they've gone with, for their five that they choose first of all, they've gone with an Anytime, an Amazing Greys, a Petite Petals, a Witch's Brew and a Vitality. So we've got them first five there. So what we've done is we've chosen a little bit of a random selection just to give them a bit of everything really. So we've got some Arabos in there, some Red Bush. We've got some muddled mint in there. Um, we've got our fruit teas in this. We've got our exotic zing, bursting berry. We've got spicy pop. That's a bit of a quirky one. You either love it or you hate it. Uh, a bit like uh, Marmite. So we've got 15 in there now. So we will pop these into our silver bag, which as you know, um, from previous videos that Dave's been doing recently, we are, not going to be doing these silver bags for much longer. So we're just using the last of these up and then once they're, they're gone, they're gone. It will be um, the cardboard boxes which I believe Dave has shown you but I've got some here. So they'll be like this, they'll come out in this. Um, we're just reviewing the size of the boxes so I've got some samples coming through the post just to work out the best size. So your 10 and 15 tea samples, as opposed to coming in a full fresh bag, which has got the plastic on it, um, will now be totally plastic free and come in the cardboard boxes. Um, we'll also be looking at an alternative for the five tea sample pack, because at the moment, um, it comes through in a large letter size, which is great because it means that your, your postage is a lot less. You're only paying £1.50 for a 5T sample pack. Um, however, the Jiffy bags that they're going out in are obviously bubble wrap, they're lined with plastic. So ideally, we would like to look at an alternative just to um, cover that, get rid of the plastic as much as we can um, and still make it a reasonable price. We'll still try and get it in the the £1.50 um, postage bracket but make sure that it's still going to get you nicely so that's something we're also working on at the moment so I've got the 15 tea samples in there now I just need to make sure that I've got enough tea pockets to go in there um, so in the 15 tea samples we put 35 so we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 there so yeah there's been a few things going on um with the tea company this week um we've launched our wooden spoons so our wooden scoops are now available on the website for sale um they are priced at two pound per scoop and with these 
as you would have seen on the Facebook post and if you've seen them on the website, um, they are the perfect size scoop for one one teeth teaspoon as such so for instance if you've got a tea like exotic zing where you're using two scoops per cup you'd have two scoops of this i personally like a big scoop so i have a bit of a heaped scoop but it is all down to personal preference how strong you like your tea um and yeah that's it really so this is the wooden scoop here Let's show you a nice little close-up of it and We'd spoken before, ideally we wanted to brand these, we wanted to have um, the Mr. Squeaks logo on them, but the the print that we got was just too big and too, or too small, really, to, with all the detail that it had, um, to include. So we've still looking at a way to make them a bit different, make them squeaksy. Um, so yeah, at the moment, if you order one, it will just be as it is, like now. Um, but we will, as soon as we've got something to make it look a bit cool, we will add that on there and either do another video or do a post um, just to show you what it is we've done and how we've squeaked it up. <clears throat> so we've got the 35 tea pockets in there now. So we just pop them into the bag. Unfortunately, I've run out of pens. I've given out all of my pens. Um, so I have last night ordered some new pens. Uh, they will be different to what we've had previously. Um, but hopefully they will come out just as nice. Um, so I'm just going to seal this one up. going to get a note just to make sure I remember who it's for when I go and put it in the packaging right. so that's that one done so other things that we've been doing this week so um, we've now finished off the mundane job of cutting up all of the labels um, and that really was a job, sitting up till silly o'clock at night, cutting up labels and trying to teach your kids how to do it without them cutting the labels and all sorts and then demoting the kids so they couldn't do it. So yeah, that was that was fun. So we've now got it all set up. We've got the um, labels are all sorted. They're much easier to manage, um, much easier to do your orders, which is great makes it all more efficient which is really good um so let's have a look at my next order that i've got <clears throat> so the next order that i've got is some caddy refill so we've got a copper classic a lover's leap and a darjeeling gold so with the refills they come as 100 grams as standard we are looking at a way of changing that um because we've got our um caddy refill bags which are great because they're biodegradable so good for the environment um, and this is a perfect size for 100 grams um, but we have also got <clears throat> which i ordered before i found these ones um some really big biodegradable bags so we've got the small ones and the big ones um so there is much more that we can do with the the refills so whether it be i don't know you want to order 400 grams if we could fit 400 grams in there then why not so um that's something we're looking into at the moment and hopefully we'll get that out as soon as possible so the first one i'm going to do is the copper classic <clears throat> copper classic is one of my favorite teas um, just because it's a bit different flavour wise to a normal black tea um, yeah I just love it so that's the common classic so we'll get our scales So 
So there might be some hustle and bustle in a minute, um, mainly because Nanny's just turned up. Wow, look, Nanny's just turned up. So the kids are going to be super buzzing because they haven't seen her for well, since we went into lockdown, really, properly. Um, we've had a few sort of doorstep visits where she's she's dropped some stuff off to us and we've collected some stuff off from her. So there might be a little bit of hustle and bustle going on in the background, but I'm sure Dave will be well on top of it to make sure that there's not. So let's go. So we've got the Cobb Classic. We're going to do 100 grams of this. <clears throat> Put that in there. I always put slightly more than 100 grams in it. So 90 at the moment. And Dave's been eager to tell you about our new project, so I'll leave that to him. Um, but hopefully, we should make some announcements on that very soon. Um, but in the meantime, what we have been doing is the new tea blends and we've almost tried all of them and um, we are just waiting because one of them we've tried and there's just something missing on it so we're waiting for some more ingredients to turn up so that we can um just give it that little extra kick that it needs um, because it is definitely missing something um, and once we have tried them all we will be looking for people to try these teas out for us and give us some feedback and what we'll do is we'll have a limited amount on our website available of these particular sample packs in which you can purchase um, and we would then send you a form electronically so by email we send you a feedback form for you to fill in and return back to us once we've had that returned form from you we will then arrange for a discount to be sent out for your next order. So we've got a lot of um, regular customers now who love trying new things. They've given us some awesome feedback um, and been really helpful. So we would like to make use of them customers and any new customers that may be interested in, in you know, starting off something new with Squeaks. Um, in them buying, purchasing these these sample packs with the new blends that aren't going to be readily available until we're 100% happy with them. Um, so yeah, being one of them limited people that has purchased these blends um, and being able to provide us with the feedback. So um, it's exciting. It is very exciting, all the new things that we've got going on. Um, I know Dave has shown you one of the new blends is giving you a bit of a sneaky peek um, some of them are lovely but you wouldn't you when we were making them we thought oh not really too sure on this um, but when we actually tried them we were so surprised um, at how nice they were so yeah so we'll keep going with them and as i said hopefully very soon once we've got these extra ingredients and we've got them to how we like them um taste wise and flavor wise then hopefully we can get this on the website and get some some feedback from you guys so we can get them listed as soon as possible so i've just done my first refill um, and as you've seen before um, we put them in the these craft boxes which are all recyclable um, they're the same as the boxes that we're going to be doing the sample packs in um, but obviously different size different shape so um, I just need to find the copper classic label and this is because I jokingly said before how much easier it was and how much more efficient it was to find your labels and now I'm on a hunt. Let's have a look. And I need that one, so I'll take that one. This is because what we've done is we've, where we were so sort of full of boxes and labels, etc. Um, we haven't had time to put these in a reasonable organised state. So at the moment, 
it is difficult to find the ones that you want. So I need that one, so we'll keep that one. And of course, I'm ruining all my display, but it's fine. All right, there's one that I want. stuff all over the shop now. Right, so we want that one. Right, there's one more that I need. And it definitely wasn't on this bottom shelf. So it must be up here. I thought I'd been quite clever with organising some of these, but obviously not clever enough. Um. There we go, we got it, we got it, we're safe. Right, let's get this one out first of all, just so I don't forget what I've done. So this one is the Copper Classic. I'll just plonk that label on there for now. I'll do all the back labels once I've finished. So that one can go back now. All right, so the next one we've got is Darjeeling Gold. Another cracking choice, a bit of an acquired taste, Darjeeling Gold. My sister absolutely loves it. Um, whereas me personally, it's not one that would be my kind of go-to black tea but like with all teas it is all down to personal preference so let's get the dark gin in gold and these lids are so tight just to keep the tea as fresh as possible but they are really tight um so there's the dark gin in gold looks great this one um let me just get a fresh scoop Oh, yeah. I'm not very good with the focus, but we do what we can do, don't we? So that's the Darjeeling Gold. So I'm just going to get my bowl. Let that dry off. Right, so this one is 100 grams again because it's another caddy refill. Get this tea pot out my way. Here goes. I have some days when I'm doing this and I can make no mess at all. And then I have other days where I just totally miss the bowl and I make loads of mess. There we go, just over a hand in that one. So again, we'll pop the lid back on there and get this one put away. You can probably hear Jack in the background. He's desperately trying to play his Lego even though he's been told to be as quiet as possible. He's desperate to play that Lego. Um, and who can blame him, mate? It's, um, it's boring, isn't it, being, being locked up all the time and not being around all your friends and stuff. So having them little things to do, um, keeping him occupied is, is great. So if you hear him in the background, I'm sorry, but he's having fun. And he's, he is behaving, bless him. He finds it very difficult to to be quiet. He's quite a loud child, so if you can't hear him at the moment, then that's amazing. So just finished bagging this one up. Um, yeah, we've had a couple of other things going on. So Dave has spent some time on the website yesterday. Um, he's put some lovely new photos on there. So have a little look, have a little nosy, see what you can find, what's new. Um, just really needs a real good freshen up and that's what we're going to work on over the next week or so, just to 
give it a freshen up so it doesn't look the same every time you visit it because it just gets boring. I mean, I know you, it will still have the same layout, so you'll still be able to find everything, but just to have some different images on there and just to, yeah, make it look a bit fresher. So we're gonna carry on with that. I'm just gonna seal this one up. That's the Darjeeling Gold done. Put that one into its box and then get a label on that one. I'm actually planning to do another video very soon. Um, I try and do it when the kids are, are um, a bit more preoccupied, like not around me. Um, but that's obviously difficult at the moment, so I think I'm just going to have to get on and do it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a video soon about um, loose leaf tea and comparing it to a regular shop bought tea bag because although um you know shop bought tea bags are are easy to get hold of they're they're relatively cheap um i just want to show you why we do loose leaf what the benefits are of, of loose leaf um and yeah just do a little comparison really so um, that's it. It probably won't be a very long video, but it will be a video nonetheless, um, and might be a bit insightful for some people. So, this one is our lovers' leaf. This is the last of our caddy refills today. Um, again, this is a lovely tea. This is quite a light black tea. Um, so, if you don't like it too heavy, um, this is quite a nice tea to have. This one you can have with or without milk. Um, if you are having milk, I'd suggest just a, a little bit of milk because, as I said, it is a light tea, so it doesn't brew very dark. So if you put a lot, a bit too much milk in, it will be very milky. Um, you can also add other things to this. So you can add um, lemon, lemon pieces to it, um, honey. So there's, there's so many things that you can add to your tea to add more flavour. And again, it is all down to to what you prefer and it's trial and error just getting the mix that you like really um so we'll just get this one done um now as we've had a few comments recently and a few messages in regards to our sample packs so i just want to clear a few things up with the sample packs so the sample packs the in particular it's the 10 and the 15 sample packs so with these particular sample packs on the website, you're able to choose your first five teas. And they we then choose either your next five or your next ten based on the choices that you've made. So what would complement the choices that you've made? Um, if you would prefer that it be that you would like some, there are some teas in particular that you would like in your sample pack, your 10 or 15 tea sample pack, then all you need to do is Complete your order as normal with your first five chosen, and in your comments on the order, just pop a little note in there of the particular teas that you're interested in in your sample pack, and we will make sure we get them added in for you. Um, it's not a problem at all. Um, we're always happy to do that. Um, so yeah, that's that's just an update on the sample packs. Um, also, around the sample packs, Dave has mentioned in recent videos about the tea pockets, and I've just mentioned it earlier in this video. We do send tea pockets out with every single sample pack, so don't panic if you haven't got a ball or you haven't got um, a teapot, a whizzy teapot or cup to, to brew your loose leaf tea. We've got the tea pockets, we send them out, we send an adequate amount out to you so that you've got enough to, to have your samples. Um, and that goes out with every single sample pack. So regardless as to whether it's a five, 10 or 15, that you would get tea pockets to cover the tea that you've got. So that's the sample packs. Um, I've just finished this last caddy refill, which is the Lover's Leap. So we'll just seal that one up and get that into the box. Go 
bit of label on that one as well. And then I can do all of my back labels. So yeah, it's a funny day weather-wise today. Um, it's quite sunny, but it's so sticky. In particular, in this tea cabin, it is really hot. Whether it's just because the lights are on, I don't know. Um, Dave seems to think it's the lights, but it is really hot in here. Um, so, yeah, it's good fun. <laughs> Um, so now we get our back labels, so these are the back labels, it's 100 grams worth of tea, so make sure that goes on the back of the box. Um, one. It's quite difficult for me to um, film and do because I'm actually quite a messy worker, um, hence why I haven't done any sampling. Like I haven't filled any sample bags. I'll save that for Dave because he's a bit tidier with it. I tend to get a load of empty bags out and I've label them all up and I've got bags all over the place in no particular order. Um, whereas Dave's quite organised with everything so it's better for him to do that. So well, there we go. So that's our three Paddy refills there. And they'll be going out today. I'll just make sure that I haven't had anything else come through. Night nope, we're all up to date. So I've given you a little bit of an update on what's been happening. Dave will probably come on at some point to give you a bit of an update of the, um, the new project that we're starting. Um, because that's one that's going to... It's going to take a little while to get going, so it's not going to be quick, but it's something that you can you can follow the journey with us, um, which is great. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it for today. I'm just going to make sure I tidied up because Dave will have words with me if I haven't. Um, so that's it for today. I hope this has been insightful and you haven't just got bored of me waffling on and doing what I do, clumsiness as usual. Um, so. I'm going to go for now, but thanks for your time today. Um, I hope you all stay safe. If you like what you're seeing, then do give us a subscribe because we do put things on here that won't normally go onto our Facebook page. Um, like for instance, the scoops, you just got a great lot more detail in seeing the scoops um, on video rather than just seeing a photo of it. So um, give us a like, give us a subscribe and um, I hope to catch you next time.